everybody welcome back everyone and thank you for checking out my channel and this series if you are new my name is Tobias this is episode 26 in my 100% playthrough of LS3 and if you've been watching this series and you aren't subscribed consider doing so I mean you can always unsub later but I do plan on being extremely active in this channel my uploads will be consistent so you, you always have some form of content to watch I'd love to hit 100 subs by my birthday, which is on the 22nd of July. So, let's get it done. Back in we go. Alrighty, so the recap as usual. Last episode, we, or well, I started on my focus on side quests exploring the world some more, finding artifacts, going into dungeons, and we will be continuing that trend in this one and perhaps the next few to follow. My journal right now is uh, kind of wild and needs to shrink just, just a little bit. <laughs> Though I continue to get letters and random quest starts without trying, so it may take a little longer than anticipated. But honestly, that's really fine. It gives the series and each episode an air of uncertainty and randomness, randomness. So, before we get moving, I believe we have, if it lets me go into my, apparently it doesn't want me to go into my perk selection. In fact, it doesn't want me to click any buttons. Interesting. So right now, oh. <laughs> God, I... I hate, the, I hate the campfire, um, cancel placement, so annoying, there we go, now I can go in, okay, so we don't have a perk point to use, I just thought that I'd check, I thought maybe we did, but other than that, we're going to start this part by continuing, um, and to its conclusion, the forbidden, forbidden quest, the forbidden, forbidden legend, here we go. So we picked that up. We picked this one up in the last one. Um, long ago, the arch mage Galdor was murdered, and his three sons were hunted down by King Haldor's personal battle mage. The mage Dinas Valen spent his life searching for the truth of this tale and came to the four Guthan with the key needed to unlock its secrets. So we need to learn the truth from him. I have traveled to the Solitude docks, and we're going to head on over to oh, that, that location. I've got the very beautiful, very beautiful view of Solitude behind us. But let's get started. All right. And again, every time I come back for some reason, stupid. I really do hate the campfire. Figure out what the damn uh, key is for it. And disable it. I think it's like the period key or the dot key or something. Ugh, so annoying. Can you power glide from here? You can. There you go. A little bit of extra use. Can come in handy for crossing small distances. Damn. This area is... Pretty heavy on the computer's load. Am I heading the right direction? I do believe I am. Sort of to the right some more, but let's pick up. Oh, we got mud crabs. An abandoned camp. Huh. Pickpocket book. Very nice. Rocks always getting in the way. Now we have a hunter's camp. An abandoned one. Oh, everything is abandoned here. Interesting. 
Um, if I take all of these... Okay, I'm not going to be quite overweight, but pretty damn close. Oh! Tools. Aloe vera's tools can be used from within from your inventory to prospect artifacts to try and find more keystones. Exchange use two fragments for a keystone if successful, or costs one fragment if it fails. Rate of success is based on archaeology skill level. Okay, well something that we're not going to be still haven't quite delved into the artifacts and the uh, explorer society. That's the word I was looking for. We will eventually have to do it. Bol Gunther. In we go. In we go, in we go. Looks like we're going to come across undead. Let's pop this out. Um, I also have restoration. Here and here, so that they coughed a little bit less. Made those in the previous episode. A keyhole! I don't know if I have it. Well, I don't. Okay. What have we got? So, snake. Bird. Snake. Okay, well, it seems to be correctly. That slow effect from the ice. Not very enjoyable at all. The jewelry here is uh, coming in quite nice. I think I'm able to cast Sun Flare way more. Alrighty, let's let let's let Tokata in. Nice. Can I? Yes, you can. I wasn't sure. Oh! Uh. Oh no! Oh no, it's just water. Oh, I forgot the dig site. Let's grab the claw. While we grab it, let's try and remember this. So, eagle, eagle, dragon. There we go. That's the notes. Eagle, eagle, dragon. Oh, look at that in the back. Bazin out! Also, what was that quest? Find the amulet fragment in Gurman's Hall. So we already have this one. I picked that up. Gurman's Hall. I wonder where I picked that up. Obviously when I went into Gurman's Hall, but I don't recall. Maybe that's where I got the quest to begin with.
I should test to see if you get sneak experience for attacking an enemy while sneaking using spells. Oh, it doesn't really matter. It's going to go off regardless. I doubt that I was going to die from poison arrows. Oh, and we have the switches. Also got another dead person. Okay, I always like this one because I just hit... Until... There! Look at that! I did it! So, three up and a down. Either that or uh, randomly flick switches until they all open. Which is usually my go-to for that particular puzzle. Ah, oh, nice. 69. Woo. I tell ya, those, uh, that jewelry that I picked up Picked up, created, definitely, definitely doing a really good job here. Really? Dude can summon? I feel like that's cheating. Puzzle. I believe we have to open the other side to get the puzzle. Yep. So, uh, eagle, whale. Snake. Eagle, whale, snake. Eagle, whale, and snack. Right? There we go. I'm also trying to remember the code for the he as well, which was Eagle, Eagle, Dragon. Ah. Of course. The gear. There we go. Interesting. I gotta make it a point to use Sunfire here because I do want to level up my restoration.
easy. I should actually uh, teach... I don't know if I can, but if I can, I might teach Tokata uh, the Sunfire spell in my uh, off-camera, of course. I'll try and figure it out. So here we go. Eagle, Eagle, Dragon. In we go. Into the crypt, full Gunther, full Gunther crypt. There we go. Mr. Boss, Mr. Boss Boss. And cleared. Right of ceiling. Interesting. Gunther's Gunther. <laughs> like I'm thinking of friends. Golder Black Bay Blade. And there's one of the other amulet fragments. So we just need one more. Interesting that these guys are still up. They're just confused. Their uh, their master died, so they're just T-posing in place. Open says me. We got one on the other side, but that doesn't look like there's anything really important there. Here we go. Word wall. I think it's been a while, actually, since we've learnt a new shout. Frost, frost breath. Okay, so that's actually the second one in the frost ice form? Wait. No, it isn't. Frost breath. Is it? It has to be. What am I talking? <laughs> hey, how about how about I check the uh, shouts that I haven't unlocked? It's right here. There we go. Frost breath. Your thumb is a blizzard. Right. Well, I'm not going to be spending any uh, souls on unlocking shouts just yet because I don't know which ones I really really want to invest in. And I think that's it. So out we go. And we have the last fragment. Oh, okay. So it actually it just said find it. Okay. Perhaps if I learned to read quests, it wouldn't I wouldn't get stumped and confused all the time. So, I'm assuming if I put this in the keyhole, it's just going to close. No, because apparently this is wrong. What about here? Nope, that opens. How far left, to, right do I need to go? So, assuming it's like opposites. But I guess it was only going to close that door, so it's not like I have to fiddle around with the puzzle.
Why are you running? Alright, now to Gulder Amulet. That's really close to Iverstead, so let's pop over. And, of course, we have a dragon. It looks like a fire one, so I'm going to preemptively put on Fire Res. And... Dragon Rend. An actual weapon that I can use against it. Where'd it go? Let's... Oh, well, they're obviously shooting. Varmonax. Alright, come on. Why do you know? Why you know get a hit by a dragon rend? You can't win this. Um, interesting. Interesting indeed. This dragon is somehow immune. Let's do the uh, the save and load and see if that fixes it. All right, let's try again. Don't tell me he's actually just landed. No, this is a uh, this is quite the interesting scenario we have here. Enjoy your last breath. He's like super confused, sure. and and my dragon rend isn't working. So, I'm just going to do this. Because it should. It should just land. Vulmanax is like... Super unsure about what to do here. Could you just do something? Yeah. Dragon is both immune to dragon rend, it's immune to my console commands. This guy is a monster. How about we try going in and then out? If saving and loading doesn't work. Welcome to the Inn. Did you know that there's a dragon attacking outside? Just let me know. Hell. Keep an eye out for wolves. Well, I mean, it's gone at least. Let's hope that that doesn't happen again. That was very odd indeed. Very, very odd. Oh, 
Okay. I mean, we got... We got the thing anyway. It was a combustion dragon. And of course, I am overweight. So I will be back after I figure out my inventory. Uruman's Hall. Here we go. Bed Bedroflod the Hapless. Ah, and of course, there's another one. If you <laughs> if you are looking for the same book, I guess down we go. It's probably water, but I'm being cautious. Always just that that smidge, and you don't know which direction to take it. And nothing. So we have this direction. Hey, watch it. Oh, a chest. But there was also down here. Ah, this one just leads to a chest, so... Not the most lucrative chest in the world, but it's good to know that we wouldn't go the wrong direction or have two directions we could have gone. Alright, so... Again, hopefully there wasn't anything on that pedestal. Right, so what do we have here? We have four, one, two, three, four. I believe you need to read the book specifically to get the uh, the uh, solution to this puzzle. But, like I said, eagle... Well, not like I said, but... Eagle... Whale... Snake... Whale... For the solution. Fucking frost spells. Not, not fun. And unfortunately, I think I had to stay in first person when using spells, simply because I can't tell when it's charged. I keep let going, letting go too early. The hell are you shooting from? Up here, are ya? You won't get away. Gurman's something. Arc Mage of Windhelm, Lord Battle Mage to King Herald. And a key. A key to a door. Look at them spawning. Oh, I'm out of magicka. And that's because I don't actually, I'm not wearing 
the appropriate restoration gear. Do you have to? Always gonna make it difficult for me. Oh, hello. Poisoned. How does an apparition poison me? Please explain. Hey, watch it. Ah, the wrong lever. As Kronk would say. Not Kronk, Yzma. Love this part. Sarcasm, if you uh, didn't quite catch that. Always running around, this guy. Although. mind. Sig Sigdis Golderson. Now do you see why I said I really like this? This guy's an asshole. Good. Another right of ceiling. Whatever that is, we get a we get a bow. Absorbs stamina and armor. And 11% move speed for 10 seconds. Subsequent hits reduce the target speed and armor. Cool. I mean, there's certainly a lot of really cool um, bows that I've come across so far, but I'm not a bow build. So I guess Ayla, I'll give it to Ayla. Maybe compare with the one she's already got and see which one is better. that a perk point 20 archaeology and a perk point in archaeology ebony another ebony piece i will take it because i do have a chest piece at um at the safe house dragon priest Take that. Oh, it looks like I've already picked up five books for heavy armor. That's the cap. So you can have you can pick up five insight books per skill for a bonus of 20% experience gain per skill. I guess anything beyond that just doesn't it doesn't add. You can increase that bonus to 8%, I believe. Um, but I need to get the Black Book. Which we're honestly very close to. I just need to get some Thalma Blood. But 
but I want to just do that sort of uh, as a happen circumstance. Next. The last piece, which we apparently have already been here. Reach Water Rock. Maybe we just passed by and I didn't go in. Perhaps that's what happened. No, I'm not I'm not doing a dragon. <laughs> it is interesting that I have deadly dragons. The assault period set to 336 hours. Which is at the minimum the recommended time is 96 to 144, which is 4 to 6 days. And I'm pretty much I'm double that. Triple, almost triple. So we're talking about two weeks plus in-game time before I get assaulted. So I don't know why I'm seeing so many dragons. Ah, and here we go. Here's the emerald. We'll read the note. Cool. Okay, thank you. I don't have the seat again. Let's see, can I... Bear! Bear, whale, snake. It looks like. There's another book! Count them, boys! Bear, whale, snake. Although, we don't have a snake. So, bear, whale, eagle? Oh no, we do have a snake. We do have a snake. And again, is this still the same? No, because we've got a dragon. Which one is this? That's the ivory one, which is eagle, eagle, dragon. And I don't know why I switched that. If I remember correctly, eagle, eagle, dragon. Yes? Yes. My memory serves me well. Bonk. I wonder if anyone's done that like I have. I'm quite tall. I'm 6'3 in, in real life. And when I was younger, um, when I say younger, I was still an adult, but... I was in a hurry, and for whatever reason, I decided to jump. I jumped while I was go jumping into my room while I was still living at home, and bonked my head on the top of the frame. And my head started bleeding profusely, because wounds on the head bleed a lot, if you're not aware. So much so that I got... I, w I got kind of upset and I was concerned because I'd never been seen this much blood come out of my body before. So I like freaked out, I called my mum, um, you know, and it wasn't until I got to the doctor where he was like, oh, it's, it's, it's nothing. You know, they like looked through my head and they, they had trouble finding the point in which the blood was coming from. And I was like, what, really? Apparently the, the wound was so small, but but that's what happens. Tiny little cut, a tiny little wound on the head, and it bleeds so much. So I know now 
not to get so worried if I, you know, hit my head. Because it's normal. I'm just sort of... I might as well do this now. It seems like I can. I'm like, super confused. I don't know if you want to class this as cheating. Um, <laughs> it's not like I have attack damage up or anything. Any more? Yes. This is sort of a very interesting glitch, isn't it? I believe that's all of them. I'm going to pop a save. Because this is actually one of those quests that, um, I do hear more, that I have had bug out on me. There we go. The auto lock on for spells is an excellent addition, making quick work of Golderson again. Who do we have next? Right, this dickhead. Sort of stay in a hovel. Hey, please don't be so rude. Aaron, calm down. Stop yelling at me. You won't get away. Come on, let's see you put up a fight. Again, there we go. Very cool indeed. Showing off your skills. All right. Next. All right. Yep. Last one. Wow, he's easy. Super weak to that the fire spell. Ah, he's a summoner. Couldn't even get his summons off. Performance anxiety. One in five men. Door amulet increases health, magicka, and stamina by 30%. And increases your base regeneration rates by 20%. Or I guess for all of them, health, magicka, and stamina. Cool! We did it. Success. A bit of money as well. I believe that's pretty much it. Completed Forbidden Legend. Awesome. Let's head on out. And we're going to head to... Oh, although we do have... Wow, what a, look at this. The Im... The Immaterious. Crafted... Crafted in Ghostly Forge. Eons past. Immaterious slows those struck by his arrows and deals five... 
five poison damage for 15 seconds. Again, another really cool bow. I'm not a bow build. And a sword, which I don't care about. Dwarven battle axe, way too heavy. What else do we have? These aren't too bad. The painting, another thingy. Right. So yes, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna head to what? Uh, what? No, why run? Not winter hold. I always forget. What is this one called? Wind helm. So many W's. W W W. Yes. All right. We're gonna win. I'm gonna head over to Windhelm. And we're gonna return to the alchemy shop, the white, Assorted fruits and the white file. We were here many episode ago to receive, well, the white file for a lovely old man, only to find out that it was broken or we broke it, and our reward from him was pretty pathetic. Is he still alive? Neural is asleep and dying. So he, he's alive still, but he's dead. He's dying. So we're going to have a chat with his young mentor, Quintus. Because apparently, based on the quest itself, we have an opportunity to repair it. My master can be a bit short-tempered. I received your letter. Here. You can be a difficult woman to find. Thankfully, those couriers are tenacious. They fucking are. You think you know how to repair the file. some thoughts. There are three crucial elements. Some may be easier to find than others. On the top of the throat of the world is a patch of unmelting snow. No heat can touch it. Well, we can go there. We need the tusk of a mammoth, ground to a fine powder. Is only I have one of those as well. The final step is tricky. It requires the briar heart of a forsworn of the reach. And I have one of them too. Bring me these materials. The file can again be made whole. Radio. So actually, that's really straightforward. I have all those ingredients, and I have access to the throat of the world, so we can definitely do that. However, that is going to conclude this episode. I thought I'd just sort of end off. I do like ending episodes in stores because they're always so sort of pretty and aesthetic. So thank you for watching. Feel free to drop into the comments and say. I always relish the idea of interacting with the community. If you are enjoying the series, you know what to do. Have a good one, guys. Bye for now.